to enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Probability Two Weight Tables To make a prediction of what the possible combinations of outcomes will be, we can draw a two way table. In this, we will list all the possible outcomes. Now, for a two way table to be able to work, or for, two, yeah, for, for you to be able to use a two-way table, two things have to happen simultaneously. So you either have to throw two dice, or you have to flip a coin twice, or you have to draw two balls from a bag. So two things has to happen simultaneously or consecutively. So they have to happen at the same time or one after the other. And then you can draw a two-way table. Okay, so this is the first example. You throw two coins simultaneously. So you're throwing the two coins at the same time or you're flipping them. List all the possible outcomes in a, in a two-way table. Right. So now this is the two-way table. With the first coin, you can flip heads or tails. And the second coin, you can flip heads or tails. Now if the first coin first l lands on heads, these are the two heads, the other coin can either land on heads or tails. When the second coin lands on tails first, with the second coin, the first coin lands on tails first, the second coin can either be heads or tails. So these are the outcomes. You can, you can toss heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, or tails tails. So there are four different outcomes when you flip two coins simultaneously or alternatively you can say there are four different outcomes when you flip a coin twice. So four outcomes. Second example. You throw two dice simultaneously. List all the possible outcomes in a two-way table. Right, so here it is. The first die is listed from top to bottom, and the second die is listed from left to right. So with the first die, you can throw a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The second die, you can throw a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if the first die lands on a 1, the second die can land on a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. If the first coin lands on a 2, these are the 2, the second die can either land on a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. If the first die lands on a 2, a 3, so it's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 all along, the second die can land on a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So these are all the possible combinations. So you can either throw 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, uh, 1, 5, 1, 6. Or you can, for instance, throw 6 on the first die, then 1. 6 and a 2, 6 and a 3, 6 and a 4, 6 and a 5, 6 and a 6. So there are very many uh, possibilities that you can throw. You, the questions can, for instance, be what are the possibility to throw a double? So a double will be a 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4, four, four, a 5-5, five, five, or a 6-6. Six, six. So when throwing two dice simultaneously, there are 36 possible outcomes. Okay, 36 outcomes. So the probability of throwing a double when you throwing two dice simultaneously is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the probability of throwing a double is 6 over 36. Now remember when we throw, um, when we write a fraction like this, we can simplify the fraction by dividing the top and the bottom by the same number. So 
6 can go into both 6 and 36. So if we divide the top by 6, we get 1. If we divide the denominator, it's top is actually numerator. If we divide the denominator by 6, we get 6. So the probability of throwing a double when throwing two dice simultaneously is 1 out of 6. But a couple of more questions will follow soon. Use your two-way table from example 1 to determine the probability of throwing two heads when flipping a coin twice. Okay. This is the only time to get heads heads. Okay. So there are four possible outcomes when flipping a coin twice. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's number it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so there are four possible outcomes. Only one outcome gives two heads, which is this one. Hence, it is a one out of four chance to get a head, two heads when flipping a coin twice. Or, we can multiply the top by 25 and multiply the bottom by 25. Why do we use 25? Because if we want to write a fraction as a percentage, we need to get a hundred uh, below the line as a, as a uh, denominator. Because percent means out of a hundred. So that's why we want 25 out of a hundred, which is 25 percent. Alternatively, we can go one divided by four times a hundred. So we first converting our fraction to a decimal and a quarter, one out of one divided by four is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times a hundred gives us 25. So there is a 25 percent chance of getting two heads when flipping a coin twice. Use your two-way table from example 2 to determine the probability of throwing a 1 if you throw a die twice. Right. There are 36 outcomes when throwing a die twice or throwing two dice simultaneously. Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So there are indeed 36 different outcomes in throwing a dice, throwing a dice die simultaneously or throwing a die twice. Okay, there are 11 ones, so let's find the ones. One, so there's one chance of throwing something with a one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six different uh, opportunities to throw one down this line. Okay, we have counted that, so now we're at seven, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 different opportunity, opportunities to throw a 1 when throwing a die twice. Right, it means that there is a 11 out of 36 chance to throw a 1 at least once when throwing a die twice. Okay, as a percentage, this is the numerator divided by the denominator times 100, and that is 30,6%. So there is a 30,6% chance of throwing a 1 when throwing a die twice. Okay, I just want to do one more example. Um, Yes. All right. 
Um, let's say uh, what this one. All right. Let's say the question is what is the probability of throwing um what what can it be? Of of throwing a seven of throwing the sum of seven when um when f uh, f uh, throwing two dice okay so sum of seven okay so what is the probability to get the sum of seven when throwing two dice simultaneously okay so that's the question what if the how to get a sum of seven Right, sum means adding them together. So when we add the two numbers together, we have to get a 7. So let's quickly see. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is the one way to get a 7. Okay, let's change the color because now we have two examples on the same slide. Uh, so highlight and let's make it yellow. So there's one way to get a 7. 5 plus 2 is a second way to get the sum of 7. 4 plus 3 is a third way. 3 plus 4 is a fourth way. 2 plus 5 is a fifth way. And a sixth way is 1 plus 6. Right, now there are no, except for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, except for these six ways, there are no other way to get the sum of 7 when we um, flipping, uh, or throwing two, die, uh, two dice simultaneously. So there is a 5 out of 36 chance to get, pop, there's a 5 out of 36 probability to get the sum of 7 when throwing two dice simultaneously. Right. Let's go to the last slide. And I thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed two-way tables.